Hey, what's going on everybody? So today on the channel, we're gonna talk real quickly about how you can enable your webcam here in VirtualBox. So you can actually do this. Um, a lot of people thought that you couldn't do it, but there is something uh, additionally that you have to install once you uh, set up your virtual machine. So as you can see, we're on Windows 10 here for this example, and here's my Mac. So we're just chilling here on this virtual machine. but. If you go in here and you type in camera, there's a camera application on Windows 10 so we can kind of uh, show you what's going on, mess around a little bit. If you go into the camera, I hope I didn't just click privacy settings, doesn't look like I did, but there we go. So it says we can't find your camera. So that's the error message that you're going to get. So there's one thing you want to make sure that you've done first is you want to make sure you've installed the VirtualBox guest editions right here. So you insert your guest edition CD and then you uh, install it. And I'll show you how to do that on every Windows uh, installation video. But there's one more thing you need to get and it's a VirtualBox extension pack. So what you do is you head over to virtualbox.org and then there's a downloads tab over here on the left hand side. And then when that comes up, this is where of course you'll download uh, the different versions of VirtualBox for your computer. But if you scroll down a little bit, you'll notice that it says VirtualBox Extension Pack. And there's a link right here. So this is what we need to download. So if you click on that, and it'll download it for you. And then we can go into our downloads here and open that up. And when you double click on it, it'll open up the VirtualBox Manager. Now I already have this installed here on my computer so I'm not going to install it again but uh, you'll have this pop up something like this and it'll tell you to install it and you just go through it and install it and that's all you have to do and then if you have a virtual machine running uh, you're going to want to restart it or actually just close it out completely and then reopen it and you're going to have to enable the webcam so to do that, you're going to go up to Devices, you're going to go down here to where it says Webcam, and you can see that now I have two options. I can even mirror from my iPhone, which I've never tried that, I don't know if that actually works, but um, you can see here's my FaceTime HD camera, the one that is built into the computer, and if you click on that, you'll hear kind of like the little Windows plug-in sound, you know? I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but it just plugged in, uh, quote unquote plugged in uh, the webcam to Windows. So now if we go to our camera application, it will pop up and hit camera. And it should, when it opens, uh, have our webcam working uh, on here now. And there we go, there's the webcam. Now I will say, this is super laggy. It's not this laggy all the time, uh, but it is pretty laggy. The reason why it's so bad right now, I mean you can see my ceiling fan up there, uh, because we're screen recording. So, yeah, it's pretty bad uh, when you are doing some other task on your computer, but it is possible to enable it. I really wouldn't recommend uh, doing this because I mean it's really not going to be the best video quality in the world and I found that most of the time it only works on like Windows 10. I couldn't get this to work on Windows 11 or even like Windows 8.1 but Windows 10 works with the webcam. Now if you want to have your microphone enabled uh, what you need to do is go to audio up here in the devices menu and then you want to make sure input and output are checked. Output's checked by default, but input uh, is not. So if you check that, um, I haven't really got my internal microphone to work, but if you have an external microphone, you can go to USB and you can select it. So I have a blue uh, microphone. So you can go to USB, select that, and it should work for you. Now again, audio quality, not particularly the best, kind of choppy as well, but that could just be me. I don't know. Uh, but you guys have to let me know if it works better on your end. But yeah, that's just a real quick video how you can enable your webcam here. Uh, the 
extension pack allows you to enable just about everything uh, that you have hooked up to your host machine computer. So any USB device, uh, this is a good way to access an external hard drive, things like that. So uh, really helpful here. So be sure to try this out for yourself. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today in this video. Thanks for watching the channel as always, and I'll catch you on the next one.